Tracy. I'm Red. I'm Kate. I'm Norman. I'm Tracy. I'm Tommy. I'm Herman. I'm David. I'm Andre. Who are you? What do you do? The program is funded by grants from McDonald's Corporation and McDonald's Restaurants Fund, and by public television stations, the Ford Foundation, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. How did you get so tall? I greased, and I greased, and I greased myself. I greased, and I greased, but I still can't get as tall as you are. Well, try it again. I greased and I greased and I greased myself for one whole week, but I still can't get as tall as you are. Are you sure you greased and you greased and you greased yourself? Yes, I'm sure I greased and I greased and I greased myself. Well, try it again. I greased. And I greased myself for one whole year, but I still can't get as tall as you are! What kind of grease did you use? I used this. No wonder you didn't get any taller. That's shortening! Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Humpty Dumpty was an egghead. Snobbish Airlines Flight 812 will now be boarding at gate E2. John, now that you've retired, we could finally take that trip to London that we always wanted. You know what, Alice? You know what, Alice? You know what, Alice? What, John? The thing that really puzzles me is to fly first class. It's $602. And it's only $4, $4.63 to fly coach. Yes, and I don't know, understand the difference between the two of them. Yes, excuse me. First class. A first class, mm. uh, right this way, watch your step. A uh, uh, coach. Coach, get back there, you cheapskate. Mm -hmm. Pardon me, please. This is your captain speaking. It's a pleasure to fly you nice people on Ooh. snobbish airlines. If it isn't too much trouble, will you please fasten your seatbelts because we are much concerned with your safety. Thank you very much. Stewardess, I seem to be having trouble with my seatbelt, so someone do it for me. Of course, it will be a pleasure to help you. Okay, listen here, you cheapskates. This is your captain speaking. Hurry up and fasten those seatbelts for crying out loud. <laughs> oh, my bum. I broke my bum bum. Hey, what's going on back there now, boys? Hey, boys. Pull it, so what Run for the hills, it's Keith, the boogie monster. How do you like this? Come on, we gotta take it from back. Listen here, you cheapskates. This is your captain speaking. Hurry up and fasten those seatbelts for crying out loud. <coughs> Stewardess, I I'm having a bit of trouble with my seatbelt. So what? Well, I was wondering if you could help me with it. Look, honey, just be glad you have a seatbelt. Do you know what, officer? What will you have? What's on the menu? Flaming young roast turkey with oyster dressing, chicken a la king and patty shells, and stuffed pork chops with shaker apple dressing, among others. I'll have the chicken a la king. Right away. What took you so 
so long. I'm so sorry. Chow will now be handed out. Oh, good. What is on the menu? Toast, sardines, coffee, and whatever left over from first class. Mm. I, I think I have the coffee. Was pretty quick. Uh, Stewardess, uh, my coffee, it's green. So you ought to see the sardines. Uh, pardon me, but we are going to reach some air pockets, but we'll try to make the ride as smooth as we can. <laughs> help, my hair. Oh, it messed up. Someone help me, please. Uh, of course, uh, it will be a pleasure to help is no. I broke my arm. Don't just stand there. Help me. Which arm is it? This one. <laughs> ah! Oh! Uh-oh. The right wing propeller is stuck. I better warn all the passengers in the coach. Listen here, all you passengers in the coach. The right wing propeller is stuck. So get on on that right wing and flap your arms for dear life. I know why it costs less to fly coach. Me too. Oh, my arm. If you have a play already written, or if you'd like to write a play, especially for TV, write Zoom, Box 350, Boston, Mass, 02134. May your life be like spaghetti, long and full of dough. <laughs> Here's a Zoom goodie, and all you need is little pieces of celery, peanut butter, and raisins. All you do is take the celery and you take and you spread the peanut butter on it. It also makes a good after school snack. Then you take some raisins and you put it then you put it on top. By the way, this Zoom goodie's called Ants on a Log. And I get it, the raisins are the ants. I never ate an ant before. Chases go okay. I have to try it. Old King Gull was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He stuck his head in a bucket one day to see what he could see. Oh, King Cole wasn't very bright. A Zoom viewer named John Copeland wrote us and said, Dear Zoom, I have a hobby that's really fun, riding motorcycles. Did you know that the first real motorcycle was made in Germany in 1886? By the way, could I be a guest on Zoom? Well, unfortunately, John, we already picked a Zoom guest, and his name is Larry Hughes, and he lives in Brownsville, Texas, and he also loves motorcycles. My name is Larry Hughes, and I ride motorcycles. I've been racing motorcycles for only a little over one year. This is a motocross track, and it's all natural terrain, and you can do all kinds of things on it. All those other things are uh, fun to do, but what I mostly work for is for speed. One thing you don't take chances in racing is uh, is getting hurt. You, it can be dangerous if you're not a skillful rider or something. But you have to have protective gear. 
I've bought racing boots. They're steel toed and they protect your heel and your ankle. You, ha you should have a chest protector like on a rocky track. If you're behind, you'll get a bunch of rocks thrown at you. And of course, you always need a helmet. This is an expensive sport, so uh, you always want to take care of yourself real good because you don't want to, because it costs a lot of money to repair just about everything. Like an engine costs a lot of money. Even though if you're a fast racer and you think you're all that fast, you won't go fast if your bike is not in good condition. And when I'm on the starting line, I'm not worried about my bike uh, not being in good shape because I know it's in good shape because I checked it the night before. We need to check all the bolts on this. I race just about every week and I race just about all over Texas. Most of my friends think that this is crazy because as soon as they hear about motorcycles, they think of Evil Knievel. And I tell them that I'm not crazy. All I ever do is just race and have fun and win trophies. How's it look, Larry? That looks pretty tough. It's pretty slippery coming yeah. into the bottom. Are there any questions at this time about the course that we're running today? Most of you have been practicing, and I just want to know if you have Before any Before every race begins, they have what we call a rider's meeting. And this is to tell the riders all the rules. Okay, the full course for everybody. With any time within 15 seconds, John Stanley will drop the gate. When I'm most nervous is when I am at the starting line. If you get off the line good, then that means that if you're a fast rider, that you'll be able to leave everybody. It's just one of those things I can't stay up on two wheels all the time. I think I will always be involved in motorcycle racing. I just love it. It's just beautiful. CC modified 12 to 16 year old novice champion. My title is not really, well, it's thrilling to me, but I don't like my mother to go brag about me. I just hate that. If I lost my title tomorrow, I would just go on racing and pretend like it was nothing. Zoom will resume after this important message. How about it, Fabians? Debe jabu nabu dabe aben aber nyabun abes gobbled for a yabu tubby abe. Ever tabes grubbe eben yabu cobble gobbing. Abba yabu habaf tabu dabu abes cupboard abe aben habaf. Baba. Dabba. Abba lobby proper blubber abes. Abba cabin. Sabby abe. Here's a 
barrel sent in by Sydney Hawthorne of Covington, Virginia. Each person should get a partner and get on your knees and put your heads together and put your hands behind your back. Now, keeping your head against your partner's head, try to turn around five times on your knees. So put your heads together and try it. This is what I want. Try to keep your back. No, come. Your hands must be behind your back. She's not touching the person. So, she's okay, then I can do two. Oh, okay, let's go. That's easy. Oh, you get, keep touching. Uh, oh, One. Eight, Real slow. Four, <laughs> two. Two. Four, two. of the show. Can you think of any new ideas we can put on Zoom? Just write your opinions and send it to Zoom Survey Box 350 Boston Mass 02134 Do us a favor, please let us know how old you are. <laughs> Here's a game sent in by Yasuko Ito of Bronx, New York. Put 20 jelly beans into bowls with a spoon held in your mouth, try to scoop up all the jelly beans as fast as you can. See who can get all the jelly beans out of the bowl the fastest. Good luck. May the best man or woman win. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. ah! toys to Jet Frost Studio um, that I make in my cellar. And uh, I sell them to him and then he sells them to customers who buy them. When I first started selling things, I used to carve out whales on pieces of wood just to make a little profit to spend anywhere I wanted to. And then I decided to make go into wood and I started making um, chests and I made this chest over here, right here, a similar one to it. When I and and I sold it. And it that. This one I'm making for my sister for Christmas, and because she's been asking one for a long time. I sold these, and then I started to sell my cars. This is a pattern. I say this is a limousine with the people sitting here, and then the driver drives from out here. And then this is one of my VWs. This one I use for pattern now because the wood had different colors in it and different texture, and I couldn't sand it out, and so that I didn't think it was best to sell it, so I decided to keep it as a pattern. This snowmobile I got by clear accident. It came out of the inside of one of these boats. See, this round thing fitted right in here. I decided to call it a snowmobile because I thought it had a you know, it had a front end and it just looked like one to me. And so I'll just, just I'll just put if I can fit it, I'll put this one right here. I'll use my jigsaw and I trace them out, cut them on that. I make a VW, and it doesn't take me long at all. Roughly maybe five, six, seven minutes. 
it d depends on the size toy. Some cars, it takes a lot more time, though. More detailed ones. Like, I have a boat, and that's a lot detailed. That may take 10, 12, 13 minutes. I don't know. And a train would take a good 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Because that, that's three cars put together, and they're detailed. And then that is what comes out after I finish drilling around it. And then... I have to sand this one. I haven't sanded it yet. I get time, but I don't like to spend it all on cars all the time. I like to work my train set and my coin collection and hunting and mini bike, different things like that. I'm going to dip that in. I stain them with linseed oil. I don't like staining. I, if I can get some friends, I have friends come over and stain for me. I pay them a little bit, not much. They don't care. They do it for the fun of it. <laughs> I usually don't stain them. these portholes. <laughs> it started yesterday because um, a friend of mine... I uh, wanted one. He was going to be here all day long, and I didn't want him to see all the bad traits about him. <laughs> My mother and I are pricing what we think is the right price. Just a little glue on the end of this. Take a wheel. Get. Hammer it down. My wheels cost three cents a piece, so that's 12 cents. Just put a little bit more glue on here. My linseed oil costs roughly two or three cents a car. Brush it off. And then um, the wood ranges from uh, five to ten cents. I'm going to take a fairly long piece of rope, not too long. And then uh, my axles. They're about one or two cents a piece. Tie a bull in here. We don't much go on labor until my father came into it. And then he says, well, what about this labor? I figured it out just by someone buying a toy. You know, not paying for the labor or anything. Just what's reasonable. I get a uh, dollar fifty to two two dollars for this. And then the store sell it for uh Two fifty, I think. One of the toys Todd McClellan makes is this sled. If you would like to know how to make it, we have a Zoom card that tells you how to do it. Just... And when you send for your sled Zoom card, be sure to include a self-addressed stamped envelope. That's a SAZY. Said Zoom card Saisy, said Zoom card Saisy. Hey, that sounds like a tongue twister. What would you like to see on Zoom? Buffy McDaniel of New Orleans, Louisiana would like to see square dancing. about this dance and one of them's a right arm swing. Then a left arm swing. Then you do a two arm swing. Now you do see do Now everybody face this way.
Let's do the Virginia reel for real this time. Ready? Here we go. Everybody, stomp, clap your hands. A little music, please. And here we go. Head, lady, go up to the middle and bow. Head, gent, go up to the middle and bow. Head, lady, go up with a right elbow. Head, gent, go up with a right elbow. Head, lady, go up with a left elbow. Swing around. Head, gent, go up with a left elbow. Head, lady, go up and two hands swing. Head, gent, go up and two hands swing. Head, lady, go up and no see do. Head, gent, go up with a no see do. Now, everybody face this way and follow the leader. Lady go right and Jen go left on the outside. First couple meet, they make an arch and the rest go tunneling through. Now the arch and couple sashay down and reel them off. Partner by the right and sides by the left. funded by grants from McDonald's Corporation and McDonald's Restaurants Fund, and by public television stations, the Ford Foundation, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.